The 6000 series has many advanced trigger conditions, including logic. The logic input is used for triggering on a 4-bit digital pattern, so it can make a, a simple logic analyzer. So in this example, we're going to look at four digital input channels, A, B, C, and D. So these are a random data sequence. It's possible to separate the channels using the auto arrange. So we can see all four channels of the uh, logic being acquired. So we can now go ahead and set up a logical trigger condition. So we're going to be using the, the and logic. So we're looking for true conditions. So we're going to set up a, a trigger condition of 1101. So on channel A, we're going to be looking for a high above the threshold and use it in the trigger condition. On channel B, similarly we're going to be looking for a high condition above the threshold. The advantage of this system is you can set individual thresholds on each channel and we're going to use this in the trigger condition. On channel C, we're going to be looking for a low condition below the uh, threshold which we'll keep at 200 millivolts and use in the trigger condition. On channel D, we're going to be looking again for a high condition above the 200 millivolts. So this will provide us with a trigger pattern of 1101, and we're going to use this again in the trigger sequence. So now we're running triggering on the, the logic, so we can stop the acquisition, and now we can check the trigger condition, which is 1101. So this condition became valid when channel A went high. It is possible to have a fifth channel using the auxiliary I.O. input and again we can select a high or low condition and use it in the trigger condition but this fifth channel cannot be displayed but it would allow for a 5-bit trigger sequence to be acquired. So run it once again and again we see a valid trigger condition of 1101. Mm -hmm.